craft beer? It's a raft it's beer. It's not a craft beer. Take it off the sea. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to another episode of Heist Almighty's Beer Reviews. I'm special guest Maxwell Starr here tonight with a beer that I brought him back from Nova Scotia. I'm going to take a look at a Quebec-based microbrew. You've all, all seen Unibrew before, so I don't have to explain about how great they are. I'm going to take a look at one of their weird ones from their lineup. I'm going to take a look at Raftman. Beer brewed from whiskey malt. Ooh, beer on these, 5.5% ABV. It says, this full-bodied beer brewed from delicately, delicately smoked whiskey malt offers a subtle bouquet and a lingering and a delicious lingering after the case. Brewed in memory of those bygone masters of the forest who are always amenable to settling their difference over a beer and a shot of whiskey. Oh, I hope it's lightly smoked and subtle, but... I could hope that it's kind of like that, that like Waterloo Amber Yoke one we had. That was that was made with whiskey malts. It wasn't bad, and especially considering how great a track record you know, Waterloo has. Mm. But from what I understand, this is a smoked beer. It's... Oh, yeah, we haven't really had that great a luck with smoked beer. I think the best one was that smoked imperial stout, and that because was, because was still weird. I don't know, you seem to like the... Um, I like the smoked ones a little bit better than he does, but... You, you like the German AMV, one there. Uh, what's that it's... auction curla? That yeah. was... I liked it. You didn't. No. <laughs> uh, the uh, the AMB, the Ametra Brasser, smoked... Oh, was terrible. Was so, so, hey, that was gross. That was awful. That was like drinking bacon. Oh, anyway, here's anyway, hoping we don't have to put a big blast of bacon on this one. Okay. Let's see if we've got uh, baconator. Yeah, I think you're going to drink it from the bottle because well, I didn't bring glass down. Don't be a D-bag, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't be a D-bag. Oh, that was a heady popper kind of thing. Yeah, that's us do it. Yeah, don't, don't feel like you need to leave me a lot. You need? That's uh, really cloudy. It's... No, on these. Yeah, it's like um, almost winter warmery in appearance. It's... Uh, it's it's not completely dark. It's not as dark as it might seem to appear. Kind of a yeah, kind of a real brewed iced tea thing going on. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It looks like like thick Lipton or Arizona iced tea. It's just got this. It's almost brown and a little yellowy. It's just cloudy as hell. Yep. But I still see the carbonation coming up around the sides. That's not too bad. Looking. Not too bad of a head for what we're doing with here. My new Saint Ambrose glass, Boston glass. All right, so let's give us a Okay, I'm getting whiskey and smoke, which is a good sign that we're not just getting smoke. Very light smoke, but I'm also getting, like, apples. Yeah, maybe a little. Like, you know that, uh, the apple cider you get around here for around Christmas time, that's got a lot, it doesn't have a lot of cinnamon in it, but it's really almost, yep. like, mashed uh, apples. Yeah, and there's a... Um, apple pie, almost. Yeah, there's, like, kind of spice. a little spice, like an apple spice yeah. sort of thing going on there, too. But yeah, you definitely pick up a little a faint hint of this whiskey malt, but not too much smoke. That's actually... Uh, it's a fairly mild smell very, overall. Yeah, yeah, very mild smell, but you're not getting a whole lot of smoke out of this one. Because it's not like, oh, bacon. It's like, holy shit, that's smoky, like uh, that brew house was. Yeah, like all of the other like ones. Like all are. the other ones, especially that Roost Fumé. Alrighty, you want to... Is recording? Yep. You want to do this from down the hatch? Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's almost like a slight cinnamon to it. That mashed, like, light apples, it's not like a strong apple flavor, is, is, is in there. Yeah, a little getting, bit of the caramel from the malt. Yeah, like a light whiskey malt, light smoke, and kind of a light fruitiness. It's probably the Belgian sort of yeast that's probably it's coming definitely through. coming off of the Belgian qualities. It's, um, it's almost got coriander in it as well. Oh, it's very quite. light. Very light. Anyway, this is unterrible. <laughs> Beauty brew. That's not bad. I actually like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I could drink this. Yeah. It's uh, it's definitely. It's almost. It's not quite smooth, but carp effervescent, maybe. Yeah. And um, it almost finishes with a crispness. Yeah, it's much later in the body than I was expecting, honestly. It's not really a, not really a huge trace of hops in there as, as much, but it's definitely got some citrusy flavors in I was there. Like, not citrusy, like apple. I was expecting thick and syrupy, and this is anything but. Oh, no. And uh, hardly any smoke, but it's there. Yeah. See, this is how smoke should be used, as an yes. accent, not it's a... Al it's, the smoke quotient's almost like that, that uh, Isla beer mm. that we had. Yeah. Ales. Anyway, you want to sit down with this one? Yeah, let's give it a thumb. All right, we'll be right back. And we're back with Unibrew Raffman. So, what do we think of this?
this beer, I'm going to let you take this one. Well, for something that claims to be smoked, I didn't hate it. No, it, you do taste a light amount of smoke, but it doesn't... It doesn't stand over, out. It doesn't overwhelm all of the other flavors yeah. like it can. Like, no, not, not like, standing out makes it sound bad. Uh, it's it's there. You notice it, it's but an, it's not dominating. It's an element of the taste, not yes. the taste. Yeah, and it blends in quite well, and the rest of it's almost like fall spices. This is a perfect fall beer. Yeah. Yeah. Just as the leaves start to turn a little bit. Yeah, it's still technically summer here, but it is September at the time of this recording. But, like, this isn't, like, liquid smoke and waffle batter. Like, it's... <laughs> I like that, uh, oh, what was it? That Rusume or the, uh, not the Bonfire Rocher, right? I don't know, but that's the Bonfire Rocher. Curla. That was really smoky, but in a good way. This right, this right here, you hardly taste any smoke, but it blends in quite well with the background flavors. It almost like, it's like drinking some kind of pie beer. It's almost like if that pie, that apple, appleness to it were pumpkin, it was almost like a pumpkin beer mm. without the pumpkin. It's, it's really a really nice fall beer, I think. Yeah, it uh, it definitely exceeded my expectations. That's for darn sure. I like that. I would definitely get that again. If I had to drink smoked beer for the rest of my life, this would be the one that I was going to pick. Yeah, but you probably wouldn't want to drink smoked beer for the rest of your life. No, I certainly would not. This is one, if I were selling our stores here, I would pick up. Well, you never but know. But just do it just as a six-pack to enjoy. I'd probably pick up something over this, but... Yeah, I like it. I would recommend trying this. And I'm going to give this a 3.75 out of 5. What do you think? I'm thinking three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah, well, that's just your opinion. Whatever. All right. Oh, that kind of burns a little coming back. Oops. Sweat right up my nose, man. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, well. That reminds me so much of something I can't put my finger on. Yeah, well, maybe you can put it in the comments once you figure it out. Oh, a little cidery. It definitely finishes dry. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we will chat with you later. Cheers.